Verse 25, he's coming back for Israel. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. Again, he's talking about the world of Israel that don't believe in him. He said, the world has not known thee. Those Israelites that don't believe that I'm the son of God, they have not known you. They have not known the Father. He said, but I've known you, Father, and these have known that thou hast sent me. These have known, Father, that you have sent me. Talking about the, the disciples that believe. The Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, the tribe of Judah. The disciples that believe, they believe that the Father sent Jesus. So the reason I keep saying all this is so that I can keep it in context and so that you can understand. Because if you don't, it'll get taken out of context and you still think, oh, he's talking about everybody in the whole wide world. And the scripture keeps telling you, no, we're just talking about Israel. Verse 26, and I have declared unto them thy name, and I will declare it. That the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. All the love God has is for Israel because we are his chosen people. He see everything that we've gone through and that we're going through. And he's with us. And it doesn't do his heart good to see us uh, beat down and in trouble and all this. Just like a parent don't want to see their child you know, suffer. God don't have pleasure in seeing us suffer. But he chastened those whom he loved. Because he loved us, that's why he chastened us. I mean, that scripture tells you, spoiler, uh, spare the child, spoiler, uh, spare the rod, spoil the child. God ain't sparing no rod. That's why he sent us to our enemies, because we wouldn't obey. All right, so he don't have pleasure in doing this, but because he loves us, that's why he's teaching us so that we can understand who he is right now. Because he's coming back. But if you don't know who he's coming back for, you don't even know he's coming back for you. You think he's coming back for everybody else in the whole wide world? When he comes back for you, like, well, where, where John? Where Susie? <laughs> He ain't come back. But I thought you love everybody. No, I just love Israel. <laughs> but but I'm you don't wanna come? <laughs> yeah, but what a, do you wanna come? Worry about your own soul salvation. Don't be worrying about Susie and John or whoever. <laughs> Jesus is only coming back for Israel. Period. Thanks for listening. Shalom. Happy Sabbath. See you next time.